Hello everybody, my name is Reloading64 and welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's 3 or FNAF 3 and here we go look at this guy he's very creepy isn't he? <laughs> alright but yeah uh, I have given up on the last Five Nights at Freddy game I'm not gonna go through the whole Night 6 and Night 7 because there's too many games to play and I am like already way behind on the Five Nights at Freddy's games and yeah I just want to continue through them catch up all the way to sister location because I know Scott's probably gonna make another one uh, so by the time he has it ready at least I'll be caught up with all the other youtubers out there with that being said let's start a new game with uh, I forgot this guy's name Fazbear's Fright of the, the horror attraction Local amusement park is getting ready to scare your socks off with a new attraction based on unsolved mysteries at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Feature featuring actual relics from the decades old place over here at this side. It cut me off. Ah! Whoa! What's going on? Oh. Hey, hey, glad you came back for another night. I promise it'll be a lot more interesting this time. It's historic, bro! Some great new relics over the weekend. We're out tracking down a new lead right now. So, uh, let me just right up now, Then you can get to work. Like, the attraction opens in like a week. So we have to make sure everything works and nothing catches on fire. Uh, when the place opens, people will come in at the opposite end of the building and work their way toward you and pass you and out the exit. Uh, yeah, you've officially become part of the attraction. Right. You'll be starring yes, as the security guard. So okay. not only will you be monitoring the people on the camera as they pass through, you know, to make sure no one steals anything or makes out of the corner, but you'll also be a part of the show. It'll make it feel really authentic, I think. Uh, now let me tell you about what's new. We found another set of drawings, always drawings. nice, and a foxy head, which we think could be authentic. Then again, it might just be another crappy cosplay. And we found a desk fan. There it is. old school metal, though. Watch the fingers. Right uh, there. Uh, right now the place is basically just, you know, flashing lights and spooky props. But uh, I honestly thought we'd have more by now. Uh, if we don't have something really cool by next week, then we may have to suit you up in a furry suit and make you walk around saying, boo. Okay. <laughs> uh, but, you know, like I said, we're trying to track down a good lead right now. Uh, some guy who helped design one of the buildings says it was like an extra room that got boarded up or something like that. So, we're gonna take a peek and see what we can find. Uh, for now, just get comfortable with the new setup. Um, you can check the security cameras over to your right with the click of that blue button. Uh, you can toggle between the hall cams and the vent cam. Okay. Uh, then over to your far left, that takes you can a while. flip up your maintenance panel. You know, use this to reboot any systems that may go offline. <laughs> okay. So trying to make the place feel vintage, we may have overdone it a bit. <laughs> Some of this equipment is barely functional. Yeah, I wasn't joking about the fire. That, that, that's a real risk. Uh, the most important thing you want to watch for is the ventilation. Look, this place will give you the spooks, man. And if you let that ventilation go off live, then you'll start seeing some crazy stuff, man. Keep huh. that air flowing. Okay, keep an eye on things, and we'll try to have something new for you tomorrow night. Okay. Huh, this is actually way better, so far at least. Uh, looks like Scott finally, in this game, finally got rid of the whole just hover, hover over the damn thing. And you actually have to click it, because I really hated that in the last two games, where I would go uh, for my camera or for my mask, and the crap would go up and down because of all the, because of all the panic and stuff. This seems way better at though uh more polish like more research maybe scott's been just watching all the youtubers let's players other people playing games uh the, his games and just kind of taking note which is a good thing obviously that's what you always want to do you know you got to hear your audience to give them something better from the last one and it looks like everything looks way better i wonder if he's at this point of the game, if he's still programming everything. 
Because I know he made the first one. I don't know if he made the second one by himself. But I know he made the first one by himself. I don't know if he made this one by himself. And I, I also... Oh! <laughs> yeah, I won. I won! But yeah, I don't know if... I don't know what he is, actually. I don't think he's a programmer. I think he's a graphic designer. But I don't know. I don't know him personally. What's going on? Was the... Ah, uh, fuck you guys. I'm out of here. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Creepy. There's a skull there. Ooh, thunder. Follow me. Hell no. Is this supposed to be... Oh, I think it is the old... What? What's this? BB... BB double click? BB double click? What the hell does that mean? Follow me! Uh, yeah. Oh, here's where the guy was. The fan's right there! Uh, I don't like this. Leave me alone. But yeah, uh, I don't know what Scott, uh, what his profession is. But yeah, congratulations on him for. Uh, no, I don't want to follow you on what's down here. Oh, it's bored it up, huh? Whatever, let's go. <laughs> Fine, whatever. I'm going down. No! What the hell was that? Second night. Okay, I'm pretty sure stuff's gonna go down now. Uh, I can't move all that. Oh. Hey man, okay. I have some awesome news for you. First of all, we found some vintage audio training cassettes. Dude, cool. these are like prehistoric. I think they were like training tapes for like other employees or something like that. So I thought we could like have them Whoa, what's that? like over the speakers as people walk through the attraction. Dude, that makes this feel legit, man. But I have an even better surprise for you. And you're not gonna Ooh. believe this. We found one. A real one. Uh, uh, uh gotta go, man. Uh, well, well look, it, it's in there somewhere. I'm, I'm sure you'll see it. Whoa. Okay. Right there, I see hello, you. Hello. Uh, welcome to your new career as a performer slash Ah, oh, crap. For Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, these tapes will provide you with much needed information on uh, how to here. slash climb into slash climb out of mascot costume. Oh, there right he is. Right now, we have two specially designed suits that double oh, I didn't even know this. animatronic in suits. So please pay close attention Spring trap. while learning how to operate these suits as accidents slash injuries. Flash death, flash irreparable, and oh, video can occur. First, we will discuss how to operate the mascots when they are in animatronic form. For ease of operation, the animatronics are set to turn and walk towards sound This is an easy and hands-free approach, okay. to making sure the animatronics stay where the children are for maximum entertainment slash crowd pleasing value. To change the animatronics to suit mode, insert and turn firmly the hand crank provided by the manufacturer. Turning the crank will recoil and compress the animatronic part around the sides of the suit. Where you go? To climb inside. Please make sure the spring locks are fastened tight to ensure the animatronic devices remain fixed. We will cover this in more detail. Ventilation error. <laughs> Remember to smile. You are the there he is. Ready, fast, bear, pizza. Whoa. I did it! What's going on? Play yeah, art. Where'd he go? Where is he? There he is. Oh god. I couldn't find him. Fuck. 
Oh, this sucks. So now I have to fix these things or reset them once they're done. Oh, play hard. Alright, he's right there. Uh, audio devices. This is bullshit. Okay, I see what's going on now. I'm pretty sure I only have a set amount of time. The fuck was that? What the hell is that? Fuck! Ah! Oh, what the hell? The ah! What's going on? Oh wait! How do I do this? See that? Double click on the vent. It can't actually but Okay, it's ceiling. Uh. Math toggle. <laughs> there we go. Oh man. What the hell is going on in this place? Who is this guy? Well, animatronic. I... Hello? I want to be politically correct after all. Where'd he jump? Oh, he's there. But I don't see why you jump through there. It's blocked. Everything still seems fine. Okay, as long as I keep them over there, it's fine. Hi. Fuck. Oh, I hate the waiting. The waiting sucks. What the hell? Okay, where'd you go? Oh, he's in a vent. He's in a vent somewhere. Where is he? Oh, there he is. What the fuck? Ventilation error. Fine, whatever. He's having fun in the damn vents. Exit. And this is just the first night. I mean, well, second night, but whatever. I know that he's gonna get more intense and just gonna start jumping all over the place. Is he going? Yeah, he went back there. Whoo! Oh man. All right, I'm gonna leave it there. Night one and two are done. Oh. Okay, let's do this first, and then we'll continue with the next one. Wazd! I'm gonna go over here. Is there anything different? No. Oh, no! There's my head! <gasps> Why? Look, it's the same one. <laughs> uh, let's see. Follow me. Never, buddy! Oh, Foxy, buddy! How's it going? You okay, buddy? Fine, whatever. I don't need you. Follow me. Those look like cupcakes, but whatever. Fine, I'll follow you. Is the same thing gonna happen? I don't care much for that. The audio's pretty cool. It's very well done. Like I said, I don't know what Scott's profession is. I don't know what his actual main profession is. I wonder, if, like I said, my main thing is I wonder if he is a graphic designer. Like, that's if he went to school for that or if he knows how to do that or learned it himself. Either way, you know, I just wonder. Wouldn't mind having a conversation with him about game development. Err, am I going to die again? Watch this. Damn it!
All right, everybody. With that, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like, share it to a friend, or subscribe for more videos. Those really help me out. And I will see you all in the next videos. Bye-bye.